good day ship owners ship managers shipping superintendent masters chief engineers marine officers let us discuss about marpoli records shipping shipping which is the part of logistics in connecting the world swiftly and smoothly and you see in the present times we are switching to digitalization as a reality which is remaining a challenge but facing multiple hurdles and learning by the trials and errors still there is a gradual shift to the next level where there is a widespread acceptance of sensor data dashboard and a trust in data and data models with the marine industry getting more digital from 1st october 2020 marpol has enabled the use of electronic record books in lieu of hard copy record books electronic recording will benefit the retention of records by companies ships and will reduce the administrative burden associated with paperwork shipping which is a part of the logistics is connecting the world swiftly and smoothly which can be shown in the world map there are few it companies in which are making shipping applications e record book which i am going to discuss is shown right here in this corner with uh, on the right hand side and you can see the arrow the arrow is showing up which is showing this is all which is there you can see administration finance and reporting document handling crew management uh, health safety and other things are coming fleet tracking vessel performance voyage and navigation planning dry dock repairs all other things we are digitalizing and we are digitalizing pretty fast there are lot of softwares which are coming up and now we are getting a confirmation for doing the e record book the maritime digital uh, maritime digitalization which is coming is coming up very very fast but the main thing what what i notice is that a sailor and specially the officers who are going to deal on the ships sometimes they are not completely aware in which this maritime uh, informatics which is coming up or the bay it is changing up and especially with e marpol record book i would like to bring to your notice what all changes are coming in the digital record books and what other digital record books are going to come into picture the electronic record book which are there we it's a device or a system used to electronically record the entries for discharge transfer and other operations such as required under marpol and extras and the nox technical code from october 1st 2020 amendments to marpol and extra 1 2 5 6 and the nox technical code permit the use of electronic record book on merchant ships the administration has delegated the approval of marpol now who is the administration administration is the flag state okay and they have given a approval and this approval has come because there is a amendment in marpol so now the administration can give an approval to a recognized organization it can be a classification society or any standard organization which will verify the electronic record books the software and whether it is properly made and the ship staff is well trained the requirement stated in imo resolution mepc mepc stand for marine environmental protection committee 31274 similarly as flag state delegates certain statutory surveys to be conducted by classification societies the ro will verify the system has been installed correctly on ships including anything ship specific such as backup system 
If satisfied, the system is acceptable. The ship RO will issue a declaration of electronic marpole record book on the ship. This declaration must be retained on board as an evidence that the system has been accepted. Most classification societies are recognized as RO. The software by which the e-record book are made need to be class approved. That means they have to be approved by RO and also by the class. This is an example of type approval certificate. We have got a NAPA logbook. This NAPA logbook which is there is approved by a classification society known as DNV. Okay. And this is a class approval which is being given. And this is just an example. Now where is this application used number one is oil record book part one and two part one is for all ships part two is for all tankers cargo record books on chemical tankers which are carrying noxious liquid substances garbage record book part one and two part one is on all ships part two for cargo ships as well as bulk carriers ozone depleting substance record book recording of tire on of status of marine diesel engine Record of fuel oil change over in case we are going into ECA area, the fuel oil wherever we are changing that has the record with the date, time and uh, where exactly the change has taken place from which tank to which tank that will be coming there. Record book of engine parameters, NOx technical code is coming. These from 1 to 7 is what change has taken place in Marpole. Additionally, the software can also include biofiling record book, Marpole steel log. Biofiling record book is for the paints which are applied on the ship's hull so that the fouling is reduced. Marpole steel log, any seal which is applicable like your overboard discharge, C section discharge, when was the seal put, what is the seal number, bunker sample history, when the bunkers were taken, in which port, date, number of samples and even the disposal record when they were disposed. Emission record book. Emission record is for the CO2 and other gases. Ballast water record book. The ballast water record book can also be done electronically. It is required to be checked by most of the companies and the port state and flag state. Sewage and grey water record mostly checked in Europe and US waters. This is what a book or a electronic book will look like and you can see it has got ballast water, bridge bell, bridge order, compass error, bunker sample, bunker record, voyage record. It is covering not only what is required in Marpole but it is covering many other things and many such softwares are coming which will be applicable. Compliance requirement as per IMO Marpole for E Oil Record Book Number one is MEPC three one two seventy four requires data backup and data recovery system this is a circular which is giving all the details number two is security multi-step password protection the multiple password is given so as no unauthorized person cannot can tamper without with the records number three is entry button is pressed there is a automatic validation the validation is automatic Number four is the old records are archived and the computer should have enormous storage capacity. Number five is e-signature required for signing officers. We will discuss the same in detail. Number six is attachment such as garbage disposal receipts, bunker receipts, sludge disposal receipt can be scanned and attached. 
Number seven is IMO, Marpole, Flag State, Port State Circulars, which are relevant can be uploaded in the software and cited when required. Number eight is backup procedure should be user friendly. In case computer hardware gives problem, should able to retrieve the data, restore the same, the old records are clearly visible during audit. Ninth is in case a printout is required, same can be done in a standard format as mentioned in Marpool and Exchers. Number 10 is in case audit is carried out and remarks observation are given, same can easily be tracked and the record is also mentioned in the same. There should be an agreement with the IT company for continuous software update and support. Number 12 is when entry is being made, it has, can be uploaded in GMT and SMT. GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time and SMT is for Ships Mean Time and same is seen as output. Number 13, as the ships are crossing international dateline, software should be able to display and same has to be recorded. When we are crossing the international dateline, there should be a record which should directly come into the all the record books. Number 14 is, there should be a three level of backup which we are going to discuss in the next slide. Let's talk about uh, the slides. Next is the regulations and circular with respect to Marpole e-record. Now this is, there are four slides which will inform regulations and circular relevant with record book from Marpole, IMO, Intertanko and Marine Environment Protection Committee. That is part of IMO. So, for oil record book part 1 and 2, Marpole and Exchange 1, we have the regulation 1736 regarding oil record book part 1 and 2 and this circulars how the recording has to be done. Then we have the MEPC circular how regarding the electronic record book and how the correct entries in oil record book for machinery space and cargo balanced operation is done. Why I am giving these circulars is that in case you are installing a electronic record book and specially with respect to MAPOL, you can refer to this and make sure that all the regulations are cited and they are also uploaded in the software. Next is for Marpole and Exchequer 2 is the cargo record book, noxious liquid substance. This is regulation 15 in Exchequer 2 and MEPC 1118 oblique 52 which is adopted on 15th October 2004. Next is garbage record book which is Exchequer 5. This is regarding ply card, garbage management plan and garbage record book. Now ply cards are equally important because they can be mentioned in the record that these are the places where the plaque cards are being kept. The garbage management plan, they can upload a soft copy and we also require a hard copy on board. And garbage record book, yes, you can have a soft copy. But it is prudent that all these electronic records, as soon as the page is completed, you maintain a hard copy. Okay. Then MEPC 277 into bracket 70 adopted in October 2016. Then guidelines for implementation or MARPOL and Exchequer 5. Then uh, regarding discharge of cargo residue containing substances, they are harmful to marine environment and format of gar and the format of garbage record book. Viewers, may I like to remind you, I have already made a, a video regarding the same and you can have a look at my video which has already been uploaded a year back 
and that will give you all the detail in case you have any doubt regarding same. Next is the regulation and circulars with respect to Marpol e record, emission record book NXJS 6. Then Marpol NXJS 6, we have regulation 12, ozone depleting substances, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, and we have to make sure that our they have to be, the emission has to be within a limit. Then volatile organic compounds, this is applicable on tankers, shipboard incinerator, show reception facilities, and then all the new regulation, uh, MEPCs which have been come, all the details are mentioned here. Now, what are the format? How exactly they want the book? Or what all things can be actually required? in the software and the hardware. Record books are required to be in the same format as specified in the corresponding appendix to Marpool and Exchange. The record books, the output or the printout which is going to come out, it has to be the same. You cannot alter the format. That is one of the most important thing. The electronic format should provide the same level of confidence that the entries of the activities have been verified and authorized by the person in charge and that there is no scope for falsifying or altering record without being reauthorized. Now you cannot, once any entry is made, you cannot rub it. You can strike it, which I am coming further and you can say that I made a wrong entry and I am correcting it, but it cannot be rubbed. Once the entry is made, it will remain there for lifetime. Signature pad device is used when a, uh, which can be mouse, can scan signature and paste. Either you have a pad device which is acceptable or you can scan your signature and you can paste it. Same. Mostly for a standard one, they want a signature pad device so that your signatures cannot be tampered by somebody else which is protected by double password. One entry made cannot be changed but can be deleted which I am coming next. Once entry is made, Panama and Library and Flag State wants entries to be sent to them immediately. Now in case you need to double check with the Flag State, in case they want the entries directly to go, how is this connected with your email and you need to send the update immediately to the Flag State. Any amendments to the electronic record book is to be notified to the representative flag administration. In case you are making any amendments, you require to inform the flag state all the RO that I am making so and so amendments. Okay. How do you delete the entries? You can see with a single line it has been deleted. There has been an error and this has been deleted. It should be done in this way book has to be in chronological order this is one of the most important things I had seen many officers making later entries and trying to correct it and which is always caught by the port state and flag state and it is very difficult to give explanations regarding same here it has to be come in a chronological order only. In case you miss out an entry, there will be a mark coming up and it will go still in the chronological order. Correction in record due to human error after entries are being made is just a single line cross which I have shown you. But note same cannot be deleted. Missed entries can be made with a remark. In case you missed out an entry, and it has to come in the chronological order, it will come with a remark that this entry has been made later. How the electronic signatures are made, the chief engineer, duty engineer signs all entries in oil record book part 1, chief officer signs in all entries record book part 2, end of every page is signed by the master. Some software say that after 10 entries if the master doesn't sign, you cannot proceed further. So there is a certain restriction, master has to check that.
okay then there have been no amendments to the retention period of record books that is the record books have to be maintained for 3 years electronic record must therefore be maintained in line with the hard copy required at current specified it is important to take note of any regional coastal or port state authority requirement for that it is better that any circular which is coming the company the port state uh, sorry the flag which is there should directly send it to the ships and they should keep a record directly in this in the soft copy so that you can read it whenever it is required which is relevant for the particular electronic logbook it is prudent to check for any specific requirement in advance for intended arrival to port or territorial waters yes we have to ask the agent and make sure that we are complying with that crew aware of any necessary action that may be required implementation of record keeping practice for electronic record books should be reflected in vessels sms now this sms should say that we got a proper flag state approval and um, from date so and so we are going to maintain electronic record books the electronic record book should be provided with necessary security and protection now cyber security is something which is coming here i am not elaborating with that but it can get hacked and every company has a cyber security uh, principle or cyber security arrangements on the computers and uh, that should be approved by the company and we have to make sure that the data is not getting wiped out or getting corroded that is equally important with other critical software installation on board as per cyber security management procedure of the company this is the another page of electronic record book how the entries will be seen hardware the data which is there duplication of record is important it has to be either in an external hard disk or a pen drive entire software database in a non pc entries are to be received directly in office so it is in a desktop then it is coming in a portable hard disk and third is it is also going in the office so there are three places the complete data inscripted with aes 256 this is coming in the mepc circular that the inscription has to be in aes 256 the software has used on multiple pcs on board which are networked and can also be android mobile through network the software companies which are coming up they are saying that the software which we are making it can be used on network multiple pcs and also on android in case the ship has a wifi system upgradation of software is just a patch file which will not make any major changes or delete old record that is what is required and that is what the flag state as well as the uh, ro is looking for calculations automatic now there has to be certain calculation in case oil is transferred from oil tank to settling tank one entry in settling tank will automatically reflect the change of oil tank oil tank sounding and oil capacity okay any pending task which is there that has to be reminded overview of key operations on one display automatic analytical reports secured access okay now any key operation which is there somebody wants to see it should immediately come analytical reports which are there uh, maritime analytics is becoming more and more prominent and all companies want analysis how good is the system working so automatic analysis reports are coming up secured access multi layer security has to be there that is the junior officers will have a password then the management level will have a password then only they can be open recording by authorized person only no other person including uh, the lower ranks or outsider can be able to open your computer storage data mepc 31274 requires electronic record book to have an appropriate method for backing up which we have discussed 
and data recovery if the system has failed or not to be available from the ship's network. The offline record may be provided in any format deemed appropriate by the administration and should be digitally signed by master. Uh, the point is that whatever input you are giving, that is not a problem. The output has to be in the same format what is given in Marpool and Exchus. That is what we are looking for. The administration policy in these companies must determine that offline storage requirement and backup facilities must ensure information is stored for minimum time period required. This will be reviewed as part of overall approval process which has been delegated to ROs. In European flag state ships, any digital signature use shall also be in compliance with EI DIAS advanced standard. Now, in case you are going in for electronic record book, most important is digital signatures. So the superintendents should watch out and they should check for EI DIAS whether uh, it is applicable and whether they can make one. In case, especially in case the ship is uh, moving worldwide, it will be more prudent to have these digital signatures done. This is one of the copy or the output which has to come out, which is just a sample shown. Electronic signatures applied uh, the electronic record book to meet authentication standards. There are many different standards for electronic signature. EU flag, uh, we just spoke about it. Advanced standards serves to the signature of the document is known and trusted. The document has been altered since signed to prevent tampering. Okay. Next is, this is the e-signature pad, which is very clearly seen. How does it look like? And uh, this is just an example given to you. The person has to sign. Most probably it is kept with the master and he just takes the signature and ensures that the signature pad is safely kept inside in the locker. Record keeping, implementation of records keeping practice for electronic record book should be reflected. We have spoken about it. ERB should be provided with necessary security and protection. We have spoken about the MARPOL. Vessel should have a provision to be able to produce a hard copy. Now, hard copies are required as per the latest SOLUS chapter which has been added. They say that in case of audit, the auditor or any inspection, port state, flag state, they say that we want a copy, the master cannot refuse. He has to give a copy. Hard copies may be required, for example, when requested by port state or an inspection or in case of pollution allegation. Craning and standardization. Appropriate craning and familiarization in requirement for the recording of data under MAPOL convention for the use of electronic record book software must be carried out for successful implementation of electronic record book. In case you are getting a new software, a training has to be done and mostly assured, but at the same time, there should be a training a book which is to be provided on the ship also. When properly implemented, electronic record keeping could provide a level of standardization and contribute to the improvement level of overall accuracy and reliability of the records needed to be maintained under the convention for sure. The digitalization which is coming up is coming up for the good. Only thing is we need to make sure that we are doing it in the most correct way and I hope that mariners can do it very well. Use of electronic record book provides the possibility of enhanced quality checks such as remotely by short site superintendents. Now once the electronic record book is given and the data the maritime informatics is applicable to that and the data which is coming it will definitely help the shoreside people especially the superintendents to check that uh, what is what parameters are being applicable and whether it is good or not and identification of specific training needs such as event of ship staff making repeated mistakes in case if somebody again and again the mistakes are happening, 
they can give additional training so that it can be avoided these are the few photographs one of them is lng ships and you can see how the new ships and the terminals are coming up now few advantages which are there automatic calculation is one of them okay and the data is exactly fed in how will it help a ship's data is accurately fed in vessels maintains accurate information it helps in all inspections it prevents retentions the user friendly software this is very important the good software guide for a data recorder this saves time on board for sure there are no change uh, chance of having oil record book to go missing now in case you have a software there are no chance that it can go missing a minimum record of 3 years is required to be maintained on board a correct chronological record is automatically maintained mandatory software update provides a timely manner to ensure compliance with regulatory with regulations it shore based technical support to user it is like show based maintenance for the gmdss secure access and uh, what others is required record is only performed by authorized personnel so it is totally secured no one else can fool around next is compliance with amr regulation yes it has to meet with the compliance and mepc has marine environment protection committee has made lot of circulars before this final changes have been made in mapul so definitely the software has to meet with the flag state requirement a piping diagram module yes you can have a piping diagram how exactly from where to where the pipe is going how where the tanks are situated and many plans they can show it it can help the ship owner is confident in authenticity of the vessel specific pipe piping diagram easy and fast to make oil record to countries okay sounding table module saves man hours if we do it electronically definitely it is saving lot of man hours this is one of the pictures like we are transferring oil or bilge so from where to where it is going you can click on any of them and you get all the details now what is the future is electronic record book only up to mapul no it will further go up definitely it will give an ideas to the superintendents to the ship owners also to the people who are making the software they said why not only up to mapul only let's look into deck and engine log book health safety environment and quality files voyage report and analysis plan maintenance files bridge navigation files like gps eis egdes gmdss there are so many files so each and every file will automatically it will remind the watch keeper to fill it up and they will start filling up on deck control drug register the software is melt multilingual yes because you get russian chinese or arabic french spanish it will definitely definitely help it will be great in case the software is made multilingual next is making digitalization is a reality remains a challenge however although it is a relatively new challenge it is addressed in the retail sector for 20 years there is an increasing call for development of digital dashboards to enable data to be viewed quickly and easily through the variety of nicely designed white visuals there has been a shift in the industry towards greater digital engagement as owners source and analyze data to provide performance assessment for charters this is the end of the video and uh, i hope this will give a thought to especially the ship owners as well as superintendents <coughs> excuse me that was a bad sneeze uh, that uh, we should go in for digitalization and it will definitely help and uh, in the long run definitely on the ships crew officers everybody who is making an entry the software people will get exposure they can do a better job on the ship 
and a uh, lot of things are definitely going ahead now there is no looking back on the paperwork digitalization is the age it is definitely going to come and uh, hope this video will be loved it's a very lengthy video i tried to put in lot of my words in case somebody finds a mistake please address the same i am a human being i can also make a mistake i'm making this video after some long time i was not well in the covid times but i'm fine now so hope that i can make few more videos please 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 subscribe to my channel i don't need to remind you and uh, please write down what videos you would like to see more i will definitely make more videos bye for now everybody take care it is always a pleasure meeting everybody